Hey guys, I had another question from someone relating to magnesium. Uh, she wanted to know why I'm recommending potassium so much, but not magnesium. Well, because potassium is probably the number one uh, deficiency of all the minerals, but magnesium comes in number two. So let's talk about this one. Um, we get a lot of calcium, but we don't get a lot of magnesium primarily because we don't consume enough vegetables. At the heart of chlorophyll is the magnesium mineral. And guess where we get chlorophyll? In the vegetable. That's all the greens, okay? So magnesium is a cofactor for hundreds of enzymes. It's a helper factor that helps in the metabolism of energy, in the metabolism of making proteins, hair, nails, skin, muscle, and also helps the heart rhythm, okay? Um, it affects blood pressure. So if you have high blood pressure, this would help you. Um, increasing muscle tone, muscle cramps in your calves, take some magnesium, goes right away. It will help you absorb vitamin D. So magnesium helps balance calcium. So they work as a teeter-totter. So let's say you have too much calcium, you have arthritis, spurring, little osteophytes that, that go into the joints. More magnesium will help bring that down. Also magnesium is great to lower stress. It's good for sleeping. Also, if you're constipated, people take magnesium. But you get it from leafy greens and a lot of the vegetables. It's in nuts, it's in eggs, it's in a lot of different foods. But primarily, I, I would recommend getting it from the greens. Men need 400 to 420 milligrams. Women need 310 to 320 milligrams, okay? Again, most people are not getting enough because they have small salads. What causes a deficiency? Excess calcium, especially if you're taking like uh, a calcium carbonate in large amounts, that'll just deplete your magnesium. Uh, alcohol, sugar, refined flour or grain products, and low stomach acids because it takes acid to pull that mineral into your body. So how do you know if you have low stomach acids? If you get gas, indigestion, heartburn, GERD, then we know you have low stomach acids. So apple cider vinegar is really good to take to help you absorb that right there. Magnesium deficiencies are also linked to insulin resistance. And this is why we recommend consuming a lot of vegetables because you have the potassium and magnesium to help reduce insulin resistance and help correct that problem. Also, it's great for headaches. So again, try to keep your vegetables between seven and 10 cups every single day. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press the button below and I will keep you in the know. Hey, that rhymes.